Hi, I'm Jeff Pinsker, president of Pressman Toy. Today, I'm gonna to walk you along the treacherous 2,040 mile long Oregon Trail. But first, thanks for purchasing our game. It's based upon the classic video game of the same name, and we have done our best to build in all sorts of gruesome 19th century ways for you, your friends, and your family to die along the trail. The object of the game is simple. You, your friends, your family, the other people you're playing with in your wagon party have to get at least one player alive from here, Independence, Missouri, to here, the Willamette Valley, Oregon. If just one member of your wagon party makes it alive to Oregon, everybody wins. That's the good news. The bad news is it may make sense to kill off some of your friends and family along the way. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you do is separate out the start card and the finish card and the three decks. There's a deck of trail cards, a deck of calamity cards, and a deck of supply cards. We also give you this cool pixelated die, a laminated roster, a wipe off pen, and we've given you instructions that fold up just like a map of the Oregon Trail in case you get tired of listening to me in this video. First off, form your wagon party by writing the names of the players, starting with number one. Place the start and finish cards about three feet apart from each other on a table. After you've shuffled the decks, deal five trail cards face down to each player. Players are allowed to look at their trail cards. When you're done, place the rest of the trail cards in a spot where it's easy for everybody to reach them, right next to the calamity cards. Now, deal out the supply cards. The number dealt will change based upon the number of players. We're playing with four wagon party members today, so we're gonna deal out five supply cards to each player. Players can look at the supply cards anytime they want to, but they should keep them face down and not show them to any other players during the game. Place the remaining supply cards face up on the table to form the shop. The youngest player will be the shopkeeper. The first player to die takes over the shopkeeper's duties. Let's hope it's not you. The player born closest to Oregon goes first by playing any trail card from his or her hand leading out of Independence, Missouri. On each turn, you can play a trail card from your hand that connects to the last card played on the trail, or you can play one of your supply cards. You can also rotate the cards to make sure that they line up against the trail. No trail or supply card to play? Then draw a trail card and your turn is over. You can play a fort card off of any trail card. The same goes for towns, start, and finish. You can also play any trail card coming out of a fort or a town. When you've played five cards, you stack them up. This is different from the written rules, but for the first stack only, the player of the fifth card gets to choose whether to put the last card played or the first card played on top of the stack. The next player will then play a card that connects to that part of the trail. If you have a trail card in your hand that connects to the last card played, you have to play it unless you played a supply card on that turn. When you play a trail card that has instructions on it, you have to follow the instructions on that trail card. If it says press spacebar to continue, you draw a calamity card. Plain old trail cards have no instructions on them. If you play a river card, follow the instructions on the card to ford the river. When you play a town card or a fort card, you also get the chance to collect additional supplies. The calamity cards represent the hazards of the trail, things like snake bite, extreme cold, dead oxen, and everybody's favorite dysentery. I think dysentery is a great way to die. The calamity cards don't discriminate. They can affect just you or the entire wagon party. If your wagon breaks down or the oxen die, you're stuck. No player may play a trail card until the situation is remedied. The supply cards are used to remedy specific calamities. For example, two medicine cards will cure you of cholera. If you're required to lose a supply card during play, but you don't have one to discard, you must discard a supply card from someone else's pile. You can't look at the card or ask that player for hints. When a player plays a supply card, their turn is over and play passes to the left. You and your team members can only play one supply card per turn unless there are only two players left in the game, in which case each player can play up to two supply cards. Did you remedy a calamity? Good work. Remove the calamity card from play, put the supply card or cards back into the supply shop. Remember, you don't have to play a supply card to remedy a calamity. There may be times when it's better to let a player die. 
Ouch, the trail can be brutal. After every five trail cards, you pick up the cards and make a stack. After the first stack, you have to put the first card played on top of the stack so the trail still connects. The next trail card played must connect to the top card on the stack. If you need a supply that you don't have, you can trade in two supply cards for the one that you need. You can do this at any time. It does not cost you a turn. You can team up with another player and contribute one supply card each. But plan carefully, only one of you gets to keep the new supply card. Sorry, your time on the trail has come. When one of the members of your wagon party meets an untimely demise, they will two of their supply cards to any other player. They take the rest of their trail cards and put them underneath the trail card pile. As members of your wagon party die, their names are erased from the roster side and memorialized on a tombstone on the back side of the roster card. Don't forget to write a nice little epitaph. Poor Hoss, he died with his boots off. If at least one member of your team is alive, when you play the last card that reaches the Willamette Valley, then everybody wins. More likely, the game will end when the last member of your party dies. As I mentioned before, the trail shows no mercy. Alas, poor Festus. I knew him. Thanks for joining us on the Oregon Trail. We hope you enjoy the game, even if it leads to your untimely expiration.